Welcome back, everyone. My name is Ernesto Martinez. Joining me once again is David Powers King. We are now at episode two of Voltron, Legendary Defender, titled Some Assembly Required. And we pretty much get a standard running time for this series, which is about 22, 23 minutes, give or take. In this episode, we pretty much go back to square one with all our characters. They've already been assembled. They have the lions. They know who the enemy is. Except that they completely suck at their job in <laughs> defending the universe. They have been thrown into a completely unique situation, and they weren't exactly getting along in the first place when they had to work together in the first episode. So, here we are. The danger is gone for a little while, and now we have to learn how to be a team. So, this is the obligatory teamwork episode, and... I'm actually really happy that they decided to make this the second episode. It's like, we have to do this, and let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Um, and But at the same time, I think that they did a really good job at balancing the storytelling for this type of an episode. And while there wasn't exactly a whole lot of action going on, there was a lot of good character development moments. I agree, and I also agree that there was a great choice by the showrunners to make it the second episode, because too often we get shows like these where the characters who are destined to have this power vested in them to save the universe, they in the first few episodes they seem to be way too easily acclimated to their newfound power. We never get to see them you know, either fail miserably or realize that, hey, there is no reason why I should be an ace uh, fighter with this power. So in this episode, they pretty much suck. They're not in yeah. sync. They don't trust each other. They pretty much don't know anything about each other. Especially when you have Hunk, uh, Lance, and Pidge who have been going to the Cadet Academy for a while now. But they still don't know nothing about each other. Especially Pidge. Which is something we will address later in, in, the, in these reviews. And... The training exercises go wrong. They fail miserably, like I said. Lance is always falling asleep, doesn't take itself seriously. It might be a situation where he'll get harmed because he doesn't take it seriously and is always trying to womanize Princess Allura. Um, they don't know how to operate as a unit, even though Hunk tends to have great humor most of the time. I love that for Hunk, they kind of give him emoticon when he's trying to describe things or when he's really nervous and afraid, he's always like turning into a little chibi of how he's feeling at the moment. I feel that that is brilliant. Um, oh yeah. And the mission is to free all conquered planets. And they have to also worry about the fact that earth is now being threatened. And we get a great scope as to the, What's at stake here? Because mm -hmm. when, as memory serves me right, you know, the, the original show, Voltron was the defender of the universe. He's always being attacked by random monsters. Um, but here it's like we have an established empire, and it's conquered a lot of the universe, if not most of it. And it's like... Where on earth can we start? And that's kind of the problem with these guys in this episode is that they're having a trouble assembling themselves as a team because even if they were a team, they wouldn't know which side of the iceberg to attack first. Because it's such a because this empire is such a massive machine, and you know deep down inside all the characters, that's what their 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 insecurities are preventing them from coming together, getting over themselves, and forming the greatest weapon the universe has ever known. On top of the fact that Shiro, we come to to realize that he has a whole memory lapse here and there, and he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he tries to tap into the Black Lion. They all, you know, 
they're 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 trying to figure out how to form Voltron. And this is where most of the humor comes out from this episode, where they try to pile on each other to make a lion pyramid. Where they feel, hey, maybe if we all like get on top of each other, maybe we can all just connect and form. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was just <laughs> Jesus. Well, at least they were trying. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm the leg. I'm going to be your leg. Hunk, why are you up there? Why can't I be up there? You said you were the leg. I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the humor is spot on in this show. I'm just extremely happy. That they they had a food fight. Come on. Food fight. I mean, yes, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> they had a food fight. They had a pyramid. Cracking jokes. There's bathroom jokes. I mean, it's just a lot of fun. It, I, 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 I still was just very pleased with how the second episode ended up becoming. Yeah, and, and they do end up forming Voltron. want to go on to the next one. Yeah, and they do end up forming Voltron because they finally figured out how to work as a team. Yep. They're, they're now a unit. They're all connected and stuff like that. And we also get a little mystery into Pidge. There's a secret that... You know, that doesn't doesn't want to be revealed, but it gets revealed further along, and we will explore that as well. And at the end of it, the witch, Hagar, designs a new giant mech heading dead center towards Voltron. And we will see you guys for that review next time. My name is Ernesto. As always, David. Bye-bye, guys.